how to create motion graphics like these in DaVinci Resolve. So right now in this video, I'm just going to go over how to make this kind of motion graphics, but I'm not going to do this from scratch. I'm going to just break down how to achieve motion graphics like these. So I came across this video by AJ Bliss, Al Jazeera, and let me just show you the intro which is basically the intro that I used as inspiration for this video. So this is the intro that I used as the inspiration for creating this kind of motion graphics. And I'll just break down to you how to achieve these kinds of motion graphics. So you will see how these kinds of motion graphics are basically made. Here I am on in DaVinci Resolve and Let's just start the breakdown process. So first of all, we have this solid color, which is white. You can just go over to generators over here and just select the solid color. And this will give you the option for creating a solid color. Now you will see that I have this fusion composition and over here, there are some dots. So if we just go over to the fusion comp, you can just do this in a fusion comp by creating an ellipse. And then a background with this yellow color and then using a duplicate node and changing the copies to three so basically if we have this one ellipse over here and i create three copies using the duplicate node and move this center around you will see that it just gives us the copies so i have three copies over here three over here and three over here and for them i have these this is the first one this is the second row and the third row over here so this is how i did that and to add blur on top of it i just used a blur node after the merge before the media out and change the blur size to 10 so this is a, this is a simple blur that i'm using and this just blurs all of these nodes all of these ellipses all together so this is the first thing first element we have for this video and then i also have this like uh, dust and scratch kind of image the next thing we have is this image that i have so for this i have some images already this is the basic image the abandoned looking buildings and i added this over here on the timeline and then i added a gaussian blur so i used gaussian blur over here and i also added an animation so this is changing the x-axis position as you can see it's just moving slightly just a slight animation to the left and i also have this image coming in and you will see that since this image is not blurred i have this one blurred so that the focus is on this image and this will achieve this will give you that effect that will make it look more nice. So for this one, this image over here, I was dragged this into the timeline. And by the way, the images that I'm using are like just images from Gaza. And these are the basic images that I'm using. So this black and white images, as you can see, Let's draw. So once I added this image over here, and you'll see that this is like revealing. And the and the way to achieve this kind of effect is just go over, right click, and then go over to the fusion page. And over here, just add a rectangle from here. Just add this rectangle over here. This will act as the mask. And what you can do is you can just animate this simply by using this center over here just add the, just change this from this position all the way in and this will give you that rolling effect that you see over here like this okay so now for this side as you can see this this building it just changes the position it just automatically just zooms out a bit so I simply just added this image over here, the building image, and then I 
also change this or cut I just cut this into two and then in the second image I simply just change the zoom but the change of the animation is is the same so the basic animation that's going on from right to left is the same but the zoom position is different so as you can see this first one was 2.690 and the second one is 1 1.730 so that is just a way of doing this so now you will see that we have some background stuff going on and there are some articles that are coming in but they're also blurred so the reason the way that i did that is to is by using this composition and then i added some articles so i also have some articles over here as you can see these are some of the articles that i have and I first of all added a white background. So here we have this first article, just, just a strip of an article, just a headline. And then I also have this one, the body. And then I also have this another one. So basic, some you can just select some articles and then you can just randomly position them. Now the first one, the first article that I have over here is this one. And this is just simple, just a uh, static over here this is not moving and for this one this body text over here as you can see we have this mask over here and this mask is simply just rolling from this position to this position so you can just do this at a random way you can do it in a random way that's up to you but you'll see that this is the way that this is coming in and this this article over here as you can see this one I'm also using mask for this and then I'm also changing this changing the position so both these articles pop in and then you will see that we have this white space but then this fills up and the way to do that is by using once again use the article any article and then you can just add a mask but for this one what you can do is you can create blend in so i'm using this level over here at zero and then just a few frames later this just comes in so this is how you can just do simple animations for these articles and then i also have this line this shape yellow shape over here so this is very simple i just created a rectangle two rectangles basically and then used yellow color for them and then i changed the center the y-axis the x-axis for these so you can see that these just come in as we go along in this composition and then for this one this is the image of some soldiers so i'm using simple blend in simple blend just to have a have this image come in quickly and over here you will see that this also goes out so just simple animations do multiple of these and this is just this will just help you set the right tone for your background and then finally i have this blur node just like we had in the first composition that we saw i also have a blur for this one as well and this is applied to all the elements in this composition so this is how i have these the background basically and now you will see that right here, this image, the image that was prominent before, this is now blurring in. And then this image, the abandoned building, is now visible. So this is just a simple effect. You can go over here to the Gaussian blur and change the blur settings from here. And then you can also add the blur settings to this image using the Gaussian blur. And you will find Gaussian blur from the effects panel you can just search for Gaussian blur in the open effects you can just use this so this is the basic setting and now we have this text coming in so you will see that we have this text coming in and as soon as the text comes in we have this building also moving to the left more quickly 
and this is how the text appears up till this point so this is very simple just go over to just create a fusion composition go over to the composition and then create a strip and this is achieved by using once again a rectangle mask a background and a text and i'm simply just animating it by using the rectangle mask and for the text for this i'm using this right on effect and you, as you can see this is just writing it so the text is appearing as you can see but the whole text does not appear because i want this to this whole thing to complete while i have a transition in the next frame or the next scene so that's why i have this up till here but in the next scene you will see that how i add the transition and i'm also using the transform node as well as you can see over here is simply changing the position and moving this all the way in so this is the simple animation for this text and as you can see now you will see that once we move into the next scene you will see the change in the transition so here you can see the text just focus on the text and you will see that now this is completing so how to achieve this this is very simple you can just simply replicate the text and then go over to the fusion page and then over here is simply where we left off just write that in the text and then you can use the write on for revealing the rest of the text as well and you can also use this rectangle tool but this time this is moving in from this side so this is how i created this text and now for rest of the elements as you can see in the background you don't find much blur now and that is because i want a different kind of effect for this scene and if we just play this and i have these articles once again in the background the same way we did before in the first article composition but this time you will see that i have a little bit different kind of animation so this shape is now coming in from this side and this is just a rectangle that i'm using with the background and i'm just changing in the position from this merge node and for this article as you can see this is the article and i have this article coming in from this side so we already have this half of the article already revealed but over here you will see that i just reveal the rest of the article as well and that i use the transform node to move this this transform node as you can see just to move this out a little bit to go have a animation in the background and then we have another article over here which is basically coming in from the top as you can see like this so this is once again very simple background animation but this time i'm not using the blur so you will see that this is how it appears and for the images over here let's just talk about first of all the soldiers we have already seen this so now i have this on the timeline and this is just animating and let's just right click and go over to the fusion comp so here i'm just using a transform node to animate this and this building you will see that this is the same building that we had previously in our first scene so here this building this building is the same as this building and now you will see that i have this image over here this one so this image if we just go over to the fusion i have this with a mask on top and this mask is also once again revealing the image so this is the way that i'm using the image reveal basically i'm using the same thing for all of these images and once i have this revealing in a little bit then you will see that it just zooms in zooms out and i had this on top i stacked it on top of all the other elements but when this zooms in you'll see that this is in the background because i just move this to the end basically but in the bottom of the rest of the images and that is where i just simply change the zoom position 
and once again change the zoom position so twice you can just change the zoom position and uh, what else do we have over here okay so now we have some other elements as well which are this trip and round text so this over here as you can see let's just go over to the fusion page so here background with zero alpha and then a background strip over here just like we did before with the text one and this is just moving in from this side and then we have this text so as you can see that we have this round text and how to achieve this round text is very simple just go over to the text in the layout section and here you will find the option for type so just change this to circle and then you will get the option for rotation as well so you can just change the z-axis basically to change the rotation of this so as you can see this is rotating so you can just use this z-axis to do the rotation the rotating animation and then i'm also using this center to move this in so this is the basic animation going on over here but i also have this this line over here which is not much prominent but it adds to the whole background so just a subtle animation just moving in from the top and you'll see that this is the one this is the one that we're talking about and this is the strip that we have so this is the composition that basically has both of these elements and as you can see just a subtle animation going on and then we have the once again the texture on top the dust texture on top so yeah this is how you can this is just a simple breakdown of how you can achieve motion graphics like these so as you can see simple animations nothing too fancy but it looks very complex so i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you in the next one